Hello everybody and welcome to episode 8 of this no code series. We haven't begun the build yet and we're already on episode 8. So obviously what we're doing is just trying to build up to the point where we're building this app. So any kind of like maintenance and you know instance configuration we need to do, we want to do all that up front to give you the full experience of this no code journey. So at the end of the last episode we got to the point where we submitted an app idea it's been approved and the necessary access has been given to emily johnson our citizen developer now i teased a little bit that we'll be doing the development in this particular episode but i'm sorry we're not we're not we're setting up the um, agile side of things so i mentioned it i think on episode one or two where we would like to document stories um, which will help us with the progression of our development. Stories obviously coming from your requirements gathering sessions that you typically have with your customers and helps you with the likes of uh, testing throughout. So what we are aiming to do in this particular uh, episode is to set up Agile. So we've already enabled the plugins for Agile Development 2.0. We want to create a specific Agile group. At the moment, it's just Emily who's going to be part of that group. We want to set up a particular release as well as import a load of stories. Now, this might be part of this episode uh, or it might require a couple of episodes to get through all of that. But we want to ask Chuck for his recommended stories, which is what we're going to use to then develop uh, what Chuck has asked for. So that should be quite exciting. So let's start the timer and let's set up Agile for our lovely leave management project. Okay, there we go, timer started. So let's have a look at uh, Agile development as we've enabled it in the uh, product here. So we've got Agile development and there's a few things that we need to set up to get Agile up and running. Typically we'd start with an Agile group. Let's go for a name of the group. So what are we calling this? This is the the leave management, or I just could say HR apps is the actual uh, group name, um, or custom HR apps. Let's just call it that. Uh, okay, go on, submit. So then we have a group now here with the necessary Scrum users uh, roles for the HR apps. I'm just going to add in a user for Emily. So Emily email. Emily Johnson. <laughs> do you do that? Do anyone do that? When you start typing something in, you randomly type something else completely different. Nice old refresh problem there. So Emily Johnson is now as part of this particular uh, Scrum group for HR apps. Fantastic. Um that's fine so if we now go back to agile and this is where we want to start creating a backlog and uh, defining releases so if we just go create backlog and let's create a backlog for this particular app that we're doing so lazy i've gone lazy now my goodness leave management backlog i probably don't need to call it backlog but you know um, so obviously we can define who this is visible to and um, who it's not visible to. Um, so I'm going to select that we want the HR apps team. It's visible to them. And the filter for your stories is uh, the fact that it is a story and active is true. And uh, so this is the filter for the backlog, I should say. And uh, sprint is empty. Obviously in here you can define things like um, and the product is X. Um, I'm going to keep this quite open just for this example because there shouldn't be much else in the backlog uh, or as demo data. So um, here we have a backlog now for leave management where we can start doing sprint planning and uh, the creating of uh, stories. So I am also going to define a release record. So I'm going to create a new release which I plan to um 
release in uh, February, let's say. And at the moment it's still in planning. Planned end date is maybe end of February. So that's when the release will be. Its life cycle will go from, from planning all the way to delivery. So we can start defining, you know, release capacities in terms of uh, points or hours um, available. We can do a lot more in Agile. This is not an Agile walkthrough, so I'm not going to go through that. But um, what I will do is um, leave management app version 1, let's say. We're still in planning. So essentially, we've got to the point now where we have a release. We have a backlog team. Um, the likes of Emily will now have access to be able to access that backlog to create stories, etc. And essentially, that is our next step. So I'm going to impersonate Emily. And we're going to switch over to Chuck to gen start generating some stories. So I'm just going to go into Emily and then into Agile board. Well, I could have just gone to the backlog. It's gone straight to it anyway, to our particular backlog here. Um, so interestingly, she doesn't have the same buttons here to create stories. So that's interesting. So even though it's given her access to the backlog, she doesn't have the ability to create stories. So let's just fix that, shall we? And we're running out of time here, so the next one will be about generating those stories. So let's just fix this as the last um, effort here. So groups, HR apps, so scrum user probably doesn't give them everything they actually need. Scrum admin is probably, probably closer to the mark. Because you've got scrum story creator and editor and things like that. So if I give scrum admin, that should give everything needed. So I should have probably done that when I set up the group. So we will just double check that by going back in as Emily and going back into the agile board with the personal backlogs either one and then we have the ability to create story okay good so in this episode we've been able to obviously set up agile in a way that we do have a release record we do have a backlog we specify the team and access to the citizen developer group um, which emily is now part of for hr apps and she can start creating stories within the backlog and um, you know, start planning how and how they will be delivered. So join us in the next episode where we will be asking Chuck for his stories and either importing them in or creating stories from scratch. See you in a bit.